welcome to Wednesday, my friends. How are you all doing? Rocking on into level three. I know for a lot of you, things will still be as they have been for the past few weeks with school at home. But some of you may find yourselves at school and it may look and feel a little bit different and a little bit strange. Wherever you find yourself this week, I pray that you know that Jesus is with you wherever you are. I've got three weird facts for you today. You ready? Here they are. The first one, we produce around 20,000 litres of spit in our lifetime. Ooh, that's like 53 bathtubs full Ew. to the brim. Mm -mm, delicious. Number two, a Galapagos tortoise can go a whole year without food or drink. Really? Now that's one sort of mean fast, I reckon. And our third weird fact for today is, if you drilled a hole through the earth and jumped in it, it would take you 42 minutes to reach the other side. That's awesome! Hmm. That's a very fast trip around the world. God's promise for us for this week is found in Psalm 121 verse 1, and it says, Where does my help come from? My help comes from the maker of heaven and earth. Doesn't it bring us such comfort and peace knowing that God says he will help us? Like that means we, when we don't know what to do, we can turn to him. When we don't have the answers, we can turn to him. Or we don't know which choice to make, then we can look to him because God will help me. That is our promise. God will help me. We're doing so well learning to say God is good in many different languages. I reckon you guys are amazing with all the various languages that you know. Eva, our friend, is going to share how to say God is good in Spanish. Don't you reckon God just must love hearing us all say how God is good in many different ways? Hey, thanks Eva for sharing with us this week. Hi Coast Kids, this is how you say God is good in Spanish. Dios es bueno. Hi Coast Kids, this is how you say God is good in Spanish. Dios es bueno. Bye. Eva, you rock! Love that you took the time to share with us today. Remember to send me your videos at rachelhayatcoast.org.nz if you have another language to share. Let's be letting the world know in many different languages how good our God is. <laughs> All right, we're going to play a quick game of what am I? I have some what am I questions for you. I'll give you a riddle with some clues and see if you can figure out what I am. Ready? I make a loud noise when I am changing. I get larger, but I weigh less when I do. What am I? Hmm. Popcorn. If you guess popcorn, you'd be right. Second, what am I question? I'm usually green and brown. With rain, I can live for a long time. I'm a house for a bird and kids love to climb me. What am I? If you said tree, you'd be bang on the money. Well done. And our third question for today, our what am I question is, I become wetter the more I dry. What am I? Hmm. If you said towel, you are spot on. Well done. Lego Challenge. Our story on Sunday was about David and Jonathan and how they were great friends. They went through some hard stuff together, but they still remained friends. Now for our Lego challenge for this week, can you build a scene from the story of David and Jonathan with your Lego? Here's an example of a Lego enthusiast who has made the whole Bible out of Lego. Pretty amazing. Take a look at a couple of the scenes he's made from the story of David and Jonathan. our would you rather questions for this week. Which ones do you reckon you might choose? Pause the video after each one so you can discuss it with your family. 
Would you rather follow a star to worship the newborn king or follow a pillar of fire into the promised land? Would you rather wear Joseph's robe of many colours or John the Baptist's garment made from camel's hair? Would you rather give up your very last dollar or give up your very last meal? Hey, it was so cool to see you again, friends. God's promise for this week is God will help me. We'll look forward to seeing you next Wednesday. And remember, Dios es bueno. God is good. See you later.